Uh, good morning, Pastor Paul here. Uh, just walking around, looking at everything April decorated. I don't know if I've really taken too many pictures. Uh, her heart was determined after all those surgeries to decorate her house. I, you know, I do the yard, which is not a whole lot. Sound on a sleigh, a couple lights. And April does everything else. It's little things. Uh, light here, some garland there. It's the little things. And uh, just thinking back on this year we've had to uh, walk through. And it's not been easy. It's been a difficult year, a very challenging year for many of us. Uh, if you've had favor this year, this year give God pleasure, uh, praise. <laughs> if you've enjoyed favor, a season of favor, because many people have really been challenged through this. And we were uh, studying through Hebrews 1 and by half a chapter 2 yesterday. And a couple of main thoughts that come to mind this morning is where the writer of Hebrews tells us that God, uh, what he did through his son, Emmanuel, God with us. Good morning, Bella. Uh, what he did through us, through, through his son for us. And that his son was the very radiance of God, the very glory of God. And that the son, at the end of the chapter, it tells us there, good morning, that uh, he suffered and was tested. And I think it's chapter one, or it could be, I don't know where it's at now, you can search it, Hebrews one, and part of chapter 2 at the end of the text I read it said that the angels care for us but Jesus suffered and was tested uh, so that he could help us when we were tested and so I, I just know that through this past year that God's presence has been very real in my life I look back on it and just see his hand in my life and I trust you can too that through everything, you can look back and say, God was with me. He is faithful, people. He is faithful. Uh, the title of the message yesterday comes from my good friend, Rebecca Jones. Uh, she wrote, Keep Christmas in Your Heart. And, of course, Christmas is all about Jesus. And so let us keep Christmas in our hearts as we go into, leave out of 2020, and move into... Uh, Onward, Christian soldiers into 2021. Uh, knowing that God is in control and that his love and mercy and grace is everlasting to everlasting. So may God bless you today and in the days and years ahead until the Lord comes to gather his church and bring us into glory as the scripture talked about. God bless you, we love you, and uh, we look forward to spending eternity with you in heaven. And God's people say, amen.